Well, good morning. Here we are on day seven and the final day of this week's daily reflection. And uh, we'll be looking at uh, wrapping up this subject of being in Christ. And today we're going to be looking at the our ever present helper. Hebrews 4.16 says this, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. You know, God's grace is not a one-time gift. It's an ever-flowing river that sustained us in the moments of our lives. You know, when you think back to the moments when we were struggling and somehow strength and peace came to you, wasn't that the hand of God's grace? You know, this verse encourages us to approach God with confidence. We don't have to be timid or fearful. We have direct access to God's throne. So let's just reflect on that and what that means uh, to come boldly to, to God. How does this change the perception of prayer and seeking help? And who do you know that needs a touch of grace right now? Now, it could be someone dealing with loss, anxiety, or just the stress of daily life. You know, reach out to that person. It could be as simple as a text, a call, or a prayer on their behalf. Heavenly Father, thank you for the promises of your grace and the open invitation to come to you whenever we are in need. Let us never forget that you are the refuge and the strength, a very present help in times of trouble. You know, carrying this affirmation with you that God's throne of grace is always accessible to me, to you. And that you're empowered by his grace to overcome challenges and to extend his mercy to others. You know, as, you, as we conclude this week's devotional journey, may you hold fast to the assurance that in every high and every low, God's grace is sufficient. His presence is guaranteed and his help is over, is only a prayer away. So as we live this day and all the days anchored in the promises of his ever present help, it's really useful just to remember that everything we've talked about this week is about us being in Christ and the assurance and the guarantee of his love and peace and grace over every single part of our lives. Why wouldn't we want to tell others about that? And maybe this week has been a week where you can reflect on that and you can think about what that does mean for you and I as we witness to others and give them the opportunity to get to know Christ and, you know, have that freedom and that grace and to know that all that we've learnt this week about being in Christ is available to them. don't know about you, but I love talking about, uh, about Jesus and uh, every opportunity I get, I want to share with those around me because I know how important it is to know him and he loves to know us so until next week and next week we're going to be starting a seven day reflection uh, on the book of philippians so until then i shall see you next week